this part of the machine, normally the, the fruit is, is loaded in in bins and comes around in the belt, but right here Martina's just putting some fruit in so we can have a demonstration. But this part of the belt um, helps to move the fruit together so that on the other side we end up with one piece of fruit at a time going through the camera. First camera that it's going through here is the ultraviolet light and that will be able to detect things like disease on the surface of the fruit. The second camera here um, is, is regular incandescent light and between the two different sets of cameras the computer then gets multiple pictures of each piece of fruit. Then the fruit passes over this weigh bridge area and it's weighing each individual piece of fruit. Then this final stage, we can tell the computer to sort the fruit by size or by texture or by color or whatever parameter we want. And it will automatically, after it's been measured by the cameras, eject it into the, into the appropriate um, container. The new software that comes with the new compact machine is very impressive. We can run fruit down the line and as you can see in these pictures, the cameras take many, many shots of each individual fruit. So this is all one piece of fruit and all the different views of it. We can define green, yellow and orange and then as the fruit is running down the pack line, the computer will evaluate how much of that surface area is each of those colors. These are the individual fruit and their outputs. So for example, this particular piece of fruit has 96.3% orange, 0% yellow, and 1.5% green air surface area. We can also define scarring or sunburn or other issues that are going on in the field and subtract that from the color. And why this is important is that many of my researchers are looking at the interaction between various different citrus scions and rootstocks and they want to see if some mature more early than others and looking at color is a great way of seeing when the fruit is maturing.